Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are going to be starting on Final Fantasy 15. So this is going to be a very short video with three tips you should definitely be using for through the game. So if you're new to the game, these three tips, though they're very basic, these are going to come in very helpful. Especially if you are new to the game and you don't know a few things. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to the menu and turn on stamina. And when I say turn on stamina, it just simply means so you can actually see the stamina bar. So when you're running, you can actually see it running out. Because that way you can actually tell when you're about to run out of stamina. So the trick is, is that when you're about to run out of stamina, what you want to do is stop running and start jumping. Just spam the jump button. It doesn't matter you if you look stupid or not. But this is going to refill your stamina. So you're not going as fast as running, but you are going quite fast like compared to walking you're going to look a bit stupid but this is definitely worth it so as soon as you're out of stamina just start jumping because when you're jumping it doesn't actually use stamina and this is actually going to refill your stamina so turn it on when you're not running jump and when you've got your stamina back start running again right so tip number two is to do a leveling up so you know that in final fantasy 15 leveling up a bit different from the other final fantasies in this one after combat you can't level up directly you've actually got to go and bank in that xp and to do that we have to sleep or rest somewhere we can sleep in tons of places in Final Fantasy XV, we can rest at campsites, we can rest in motels, we can rest in RV vans, we can rest at luxury places, and there is actually a difference to doing that. So uh, if we rest, for instance, at an RV van, we actually get a 1.2 bonus uh, from the experience we're banking in. If we go to a motel, we get a 1.5 bonus, and if we sleep in a luxury hotel, uh, which is quite expensive, so you're probably not going to be doing that all the time. You actually multiply your experience by two, so that is like massive. So just keep that in mind because a lot of people didn't know that. Obviously, if you go to a campsite, you don't get any experience bonus, but you can get some passives depending on what you eat. So that's the best part about camping. But just keep in mind that where depending on where you sleep, uh, you will get more or less experience. So so yeah, now you know. So tip number three is probably a bit more logical, but uh, people do tend to forget this. So in Final Fantasy 15, you don't actually get money after combat. And this was like that in Final Fantasy 13, I believe it also. And it kind of makes it a bit hard to get money in the end. Like, yeah, fair enough. You do your quest, you do your side quest, and you get money and all that, which is okay. But the best way to get money in these kind of games is just pick up every single item you find and try not to just keep it for yourself. Don't go with the mentality oh, I may need this at one point. I mean, fair enough, just keep hold of one of each item or something like that, unless it's, like, very uh, good items. But, like, some of these items in this game, it's kind of meant for selling because that is going to be one of the best ways to get money in this game. So, yeah, so try not to keep all those items for yourself and try and let go of a few because it will come in handy in the long run. So, yeah, guys, these were three tips for Final Fantasy XV, especially if you're getting started. Hopefully these was helpful. If they was, please go like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel more directly on Patreon, which is much appreciated. And we'll see you next time, guys.